Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going through your next assignment, which is showing you how to program beats in GarageBand. If you remember from early in the semester when we first started talking about rhythm, I shared with you the Roland TR-808, which is an electronic drum machine that was invented in the late 70s. The way that the Roland 808 is organized, you see that there are four different colors, red, orange, yellow, white, with each one of those colors representing one beat of one bar. Then each of those beats is broken up into four parts. So red, beat one has four red buttons, four orange, four yellow, four white. Now the way that that is organized and arranged in that early 1978 808 has been used in most of today's modern dolls. So when we created beats in Soundtrap, you saw how in the Patterns Beatmaker that it was organized like the 808, where you had the first four boxes represented those red buttons, the next four represented the orange, then three, then four. And then we went in and we programmed the Billie Jean beat using the Patterns Beatmaker just by clicking on boxes. Now, we can do the same kind of thing in GarageBand. So I want you to do this with me. Go into GarageBand and start a new project. So if you already have GarageBand open, you can use Command N, or you can go to the File menu and select New. Remember, you can always pause the video as you need to go complete a step that I've showed you how to do. So File, New. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to double click on the green box to create a software instrument track. Or if you just select the green box and then click create, it'll do the same thing. And the next window that appears, you want to hover your cursor uh, in the library over drum kit. And then you want to select one of the drum kits in the second column. You can select any one. It's totally up to you. Next, you're going to hover your cursor in the middle of bar one, and then you're going to hold your command key down, and you'll see that cursor change into a pencil. Once it changes into that pencil, click on this box in bar one. You should see a green region appear. The next step is to then double click on that green region. Click, click. Again, pause the video at any time to complete these steps. Once you double click the green region, you're going to see what's called the piano roll view open up on the bottom half of the GarageBand screen. You want to adjust the zoom, which can be found over on the right edge, so that you can see on the timeline in the piano roll view one 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4. So adjust your zoom so that you see all four beats of the first bar. Notice over on the left edge there is a diagram of a piano and the keys are numbered, or at least all the C's. C1, C2, C3, C4, and then it goes down. C1, C0, C-1, C-2. Use the scroll control over on the right edge, or you can also use the ball on top of your mouse to scroll and adjust so that you can see C1 to C2 on your piano diagram. Now, in GarageBand, you can hear the drum sounds that you have available to you by clicking on the keys on the piano diagram on the left edge. The kick drum is usually C1 with snare drum sounds above it, followed by toms, low, middle, high. And then the black sounds typically have, um, the black keys typically have sounds programmed to them also. Hi-hats, cymbals, snaps, claps. And those sounds are going to vary depending on the preset that you selected in your preset library when you first started the track. So again, remember the organization of each bar. There's four beats in the bar, and each of those beats has four parts to it.
These four beats in Soundtrap look like this in GarageBand. So again, this is where the beats are. Beat 1, beat 2, beat 3, beat 4. And then each beat has four columns. So the Billie Jean beat in Soundtrap in GarageBand. What we're going to do is recreate it in GarageBand. So we're going to start with the kick drum. So if you click on the C1 key, you'll hear the sound of a kick drum. Move your cursor to the row in the first column next to C1. Hold down your command key, and you should see your cursor turn to a pencil, and click in the first column next to the C1 key, and you should see a green line appear. That's going to be your kick on one. Then we're going to add a kick on beat three. So continue across the same row until you get to the column for 1.3. Hold your command key, command click to add your kick drum sound. Now let's do the snare. The snare sound is the white key just above C1. So you can click on that key to hear what the snare drum sounds like. Then move to the right, find the first column of beat 1.2, hold down the command key, click in that column. Then continue towards the right, find the column for beat 4, 1.4, hold the command key, and click. Finally, we're going to add the hi-hat. The hi-hat sound is actually one of the black keys, usually the third black key above C1. You can click on it to hear what it sounds like. Then go across from that key on the same row, and you're going to put while you hold the command key down, you're going to click on every other column. Now, if you play this back, it should sound like the Billie Jean drum beat. This is what it looks like in GarageBand with each of the sounds labeled. And if I take the labels away, this is what you're looking at. So now you've programmed the Billie Jean beat in GarageBand using your command key to create the pencil tool in the piano roll. So as you're looking at the grid in the piano roll view, keep in mind that each beat, the four columns, musicians call these one, E, and, a, uh, and then on beat two, two, E, and, a, uh, beat three, three, E, and, a, uh, and beat four is four, E, and, a. Uh. Now we're ready to start working on the assignment. First, click on the mute button on the track header that we of the example track we just completed together. Next, you're going to click on the plus button above the track header. You should then see the choose track window pop up. Select software instrument by double clicking on the green box or click on it one time, then click create. When the new track appears, go to the library presets and select a new drum kit sound. Hover over drum kit and then select whichever sound you'd like to use. Now that we have the first track muted, you're going to hold your command key down on your keyboard and then you're going to click on bar one of the new track. This should reveal a new empty green region. Double click on that new region to reveal the piano roll editor. Then use your zoom controls and your scroll, scroll bar to make sure that you can see C1 and C2 on your piano diagram. And you should still see 1, 1 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4 along the top of the timeline in the piano roll. Now you're ready to work on your assignment. For this assignment, I'm going to give you a series of drum patterns that you're going to recreate in GarageBand. Here's the first pattern. Now, to make this a little easier, we're going to focus on just one line at a time. So we're going to start with the kick. 
in your new track, you're going to find the C1 key, which is where the kick drum sound is. And you're going to add a, ki a kick on the first column of beat one, and then on the third column of beat one. Then we're going to go to beat two and find the third column of beat two to add a kick there. Go to beat three, find the and or the third column of beat three, command click there. And then finally, in beat four, we're going to command click in the E column. That's your kick drum line. Pause the video and complete this step as you need to. Next, we're going to program the snare drum. So again, the snare drum sound is usually the first white key above C1. So with the snare drum, we're going to find the first column on beat two, hold the command key and click. Then we're going to find the fourth column or the uh of beat two to command click. Then we're going to go to beat three, click in the second column, which is the E, and the fourth column, which is the uh. Then in beat four, we're going to click on the first column and the fourth column, which will be uh. Finally, we're going to add the hi-hat pattern. Notice I'm going to go two rows on this. So the hi-hat sound is usually the third black key above C1. And when I did this exercise, what I did was I held down the command key and I just clicked every column all the way across. Now notice there are two of these that are different that call for an open hi-hat. The open hi-hat is usually two black keys above the closed hi-hat. So rather than command clicking, I can just take my cursor, click on that little dash and drag it up to the open hi-hat. So I just drag it up a couple slots. Or you can command click to enter. The, the completed pattern should look like this. Click the space bar and listen to the drum track you've created. Use the slideshow link to the assignment in Google Classroom to complete the assignment. Program each of the beat diagrams in the slideshow into GarageBand.